congratulations, Stefan. Three more points. You get the clean sheet as well. Three more points of the ACC. You're set at top alone in the ACC standings. Talk about the performance tonight. I think, I think like Coach said, I, it was exciting because it wasn't our best overall performance. But you know, having said that, it was it was a great defending performance. I thought a lot of the second half we defended. I don't even know if we had a shot on target. And that's what this team is, you know, is so good at. Um, just putting the effort, putting the work, no matter what the situation is. You know, you're not going to put this team down. Um, we're always going to fight, no matter what the situation is. Normally, when you knock off, normally when teams knock off top-ranked teams, they, they kind of get a goal, sit back, and really just, just like endure the onslaught. Mm -hmm. The teams that are there. You guys, Notre Dame, you only had, they had six shots. Syracuse eleven tonight. You made it, your team in front of you made it really difficult for them. Can you just explain how good this defense has been for you all season? Yeah, they've been phenomenal. I mean, I think that's the seventh or eighth shutout, and that's all to them. Um, they from the back line to Mo up top to R Ricky when he's coming in, um, and then Jerry coming in tonight was phenomenal. Uh, it's it's all about work, and we talk about this every day. It's it's all about the trainings that you know what we do behind the scenes, uh, what the people don't see, and then it shows up in the performance, um, and that's that's the effort. From you know the runs in the summer, from you know whatever else we're doing, uh, we're taking care of ourselves. It's showing. How do you shift mentally between games? Like you had Belmont on Tuesday, you have uh, you had uh, Syracuse tonight, you had Indiana again on Tuesday. Does it like does it bother you at all that you have to con constantly just think about big games over and over? Uh, I mean, yeah, it's difficult. It's difficult playing two games a week, um, but I think it keeps us sharp. And you know, to be honest, I think we play best like that. Our, our one week off with no midweek game was. Um, played played BC after that, mm -hmm. and I think there, it, you saw, you know, a little bit of a, a lack of concentration in the end, mm -hmm. and so you know, playing 90 minutes back to back um, keeps us sharp, keeps us keeps us focused because you know you're up one night and then you know you got to recover and you got to focus on that recovery mm -hmm. because you know the next one's coming up right around the corner. You're four and one against ranked teams. You got another one tonight. You know, this is this is now seven in a row. I know that you guys are excited by the the way your team is reacting, but Mo has been very calm. You're very calm in this. How are you guys handling the situation? I think it's it's the whole team, um, and you know, kind of it, it reflects well on us because he's putting the ball in the net and not keeping the ball out of the net. Mm -hmm. But it's every, you know put anybody in that situation and they're going to act the same way. Mm -hmm. um, everybody on the team, we're so deep. We've got you know top to bottom. We've got guys that can perform. Um, and I think that's that's what keeps us better because it takes all 27 guys in the locker room to put in a performance like this. It's not just the 11 guys out there. Um, and again, you know, behind the scenes, everybody's working, and it it shows. Yeah, the, the Syracuse seemed a little rattled just from distance. Could you sense that on the field? I think you know they're not. They had a couple bad results, and they're not used to that. Um, they're not used to going down. You know, I think their record shows that they've had a great season so far, and so when they go down, um, they, they struggle with it because they're not used to it. Um, same thing, it's, it's any team that's used to playing up, um, it's, it puts you in a different situation when you go down, and especially at the end of the game when you, know, you, you need a goal, um, you get kind of frantic. Now in the second half, you guys had a guy go down, and um, they continued to play. You had a civil discussion with the ref, as I heard from a few feet away. What's that mean to like take care of your guys when they go down and stuff like that? I think it's just camaraderie and, and you know being a teammate. Um, no matter what the situation is, you know we have each other's back. Um, whether it's on the field, off the field, wherever it is, uh, we're always going to be there for each other, and we're looking out for each other. And I think you know that's where the results come from because we're always going to work for each other.